What's going on, FIBA crew? Tonight, Thursday, we're getting naughty with that. FIBA! Woo! Tonight, Thursday night, you know we get naughty. I hope you're ready to get naughty. We're going to be featuring Nautical American Gin. Tonight's cocktail is FIBA's Naughty Mule, an amazing cocktail, a spin on the American Mule, which I know the Moscow Mule, the American Mule, Moscow Mule would be used uh, with a, uh, a Russian vodka, the um, American Mule typically would be used with Tito's, but tonight we're featuring again nautical American gin, because we're getting naughty tonight. A local gin that you can find brewed here in Massachusetts with 15 botanicals from across the globe. Tonight, this mule is going to be a gin mule. Again, Fever's Naughty Mule. So I hope you're ready. I hope you've seen the ingredients throughout the week, and you're going to make a classic cocktail with a little gin flavor. A traditional Moscow mule would come in a, um, a copper tin. Okay, it would be followed by tonight again nautical American gin. Then we've got to put in a little bit of our uh, our uh, ginger beer, any ginger beer that you like. Tonight we're using Barrett's ginger beer, close to my name, but not really. Barrett's ginger beer with an I, not an E. We're gonna use that. We're gonna put in some lime. We're gonna muddle that in and toss on a nice mint sprig. I like to put a little sugar in mine, so I'm going to toss a little sugar when I muddle in the limes, some nice fresh limes. If you're ready to go, put it in the comments right now. If you're here to drink and catch that fever, because you know 19 years is a bartender. I give you my favorite cocktails, my favorite recipes, the fever shake, the fever high pour, and you know a little of that fever flair. I love you guys. We're getting naughty tonight. Should we begin? Put it in the comments if you're loving this. Let's go. A traditional cocktail, again, is about five to six ounces. We're going to use two ounces of our nautical American gin. Now, I'm going to make this cocktail right here in my Boston shaker fitting since nautical American gin is from Massachusetts. So, again, two ounces nautical American gin, one ounce is a three count, two ounces is a six count. I'm going to give you the fever high pour and the counts. Who, one, two, three, four, five, six? A little fever boom, because the fever loves nautical American gin. Again, fever's naughty mule that now you're going to know how to make. We've got three to four ounces left. What we're going to do here is I'm going to take my pint glass. I'm going to toss in about three or four pieces of fresh lime and a small lime. Uh, bar line, that's about half a line. Boom, boom, let's toss those in there. Again, I like a little sugar. Toss a little sugar in there. Just a fever, boom. I've got my muddle. We're going to muddle these in to get the flavor of the lime and the sugar like you do for a mojito, but we aren't going to add in the mint until the sprig of mint at the end. It doesn't go in when you do this here. So here we are. Get a nice muddle in here. If you don't have a muddler at home or fancy shakers, you can always pick them up. But if you don't have them, you can use the back of a spoon or you can use just any cup of glass. I don't always muddle in the glass. I've been doing this a long time. you got to be gentle if you do. If you want to muddle, toss it in here in your shaker. That's an easier way to do it. All right? Just so you know, because I want you to be safe while we're having a couple of cocktails here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll toss that gin right in here like this. Nice. Doesn't that look good? Fresh lime, a little sugar, nautical American gin. Again, I need three or four more ounces left. That lime's going to come out to be an ounce, so let's go two or three more ounces. Let's get your Barrett's um, ginger beer. I'm not going to put that in just yet because we're building a cocktail. Let's toss a little ice in here. I'm using my hands because I can. This is my bar. You do whatever you want to do at your bar. Just make sure if you have friends over, you're being careful, you're being safe. Use some gloves. I'm not telling you what to do, but you want to drink, right? So you want to be the best bartender, and I'm showing you how. All right, now. I'm going to give this a good little fever shake here. Oh, yeah, my favorite pot. I know you love it, too. Put in the comments if you do and if you love nautical American gin. I love to see it. I love all you fever crew. I wish I could see your comments live right now, but we're getting there. I know you're in here. I know you're loving it. I know you're loving the ingredients. You're having a couple cocktails tonight. Guys, 
a spin on the classic Moscow Mule. Is my fly out? I thought it was. It was feeling a little breezy in here. Hold on. All right. Here we go. you got to have a little fun. It's live TV. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour this right out into my copper tin. You typically use a copper tin when you're making a Moscow Mule. Steve is not a mule tonight with gin. We're going to do the same thing. Now, I'm going to add a little bit more ice in here. All right. Get it right to the top. Now, we're going to put in our Barrett's gin. I'm going to give you the count on this. Two ounces is a six count. We're going to go about between two or three ounces, so six or a seven count. Who One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the reason why I count like that is because if I went one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, you'd have way too much of your mixer in here. You'll want to taste the nautical American gin, all the botanicals, and I'll tell you, nautical American gin isn't your typical gin. It's not the gin that you used to drink at the bottom of the cabinet or climbing up on a chair at your grandmother's house. You know, a typical gin has that pine needle taste or that cucumber flavor. If you like it, that's great. If you don't like gin, actually, you're probably going to love this. It's nice and refreshing. It goes with so many different cocktails. And again, brewed here in Massachusetts. Take a look at nauticalgin.com for all their amazing recipes. We got the Fever Originals here on the Fever Cocktail Shows on Naughty Thursday. But you can check out the rest of them on there. Cheers to you, Fever Crew. I love you. I hope you had a blast. If you did, make sure you put it in the comments. Make sure you share the episode now or share it later. Tag some friends now if they want to catch the fever, positivity, energy, and excitement. Or if they like to make cocktails or they like gin. Put them in there. Have some fun. Thanks for joining me. I always have a blast with you on Thursdays. Going forward, we have so many new amazing things coming up on Thursdays too. A nice fun day of the week. It's Thirsty Thursday. We're getting naughty. Cheers to you, Fever Crew. An amazing cocktail. With the gin, it just gives it that a little extra boom. I like adding the sugar in there. Like I said, sweeten it up a little bit. Not like the fever's not sweetened up. I'm just saying. I love you. You know, I always save you a seat at the bar. Have fun. Drink responsibly. And let's begin. With that fever.